So now here we are having a dialogue between Pinky and Mr. Sansom. Sansom, and that you have to fill based on this paragraph dialogue. You have to fill in the blanks. That means this is direct speech. They are speaking their own words. They are not speaking the words of someone else. So this is our direct speech. So any dialogue, any conversation. Will always be considered in direct speech, and this is our in direct speech that we have to convert it into a paragraph. So let's see the first dialogue. Here it is, Pinky. I got a present for you. Pinky is telling Mr. Sansom that she has got a present for him. So Mr. Sansom says, "Thank you for the book. How thoughtful of you." Now here we are having exclamatory. Sandals. Next is it looks like it's been read. Pinky, yeah, it's due back at the library in two weeks. Again, an exclamatory sandal. So let's see how we will transform from direct speech into indirect speech. So first we have Pinky told Mr. Sansom what Pinky told. Here we are having past tense. So past of past is. Past perfect tense. So what will be changed to that she had got a present for him. Present was for Mr. Sansom. For Mr. Sansom, we will be using him, and for Pinky, we will use she. And got past tense will be changed to past perfect tense because here we are having past. Our reporting verb is in the past form, so past of past will be past perfect, and both are pronounced. We are we have changed according to our speaker and the listener. Coming to next, we have Mr. Sansom. Thank here we we had thank you. So thank you will change to. Mr. Sansom thanked her for the book, saying, "What did he say? How thoughtful of you that and saying it was thoughtful of her. Saying it was thoughtful for of her." And added. What did he add? It looks like it's been read. Now, it's been means it has been. So here again we are having past form. So it has will be changed to it had. Say and added. It looks will be changed to simple present to simple past. It looked. Next we have like. It looked like. It has will be changed to it had. It looks like it had been read. I hope it is clear till now. Next dialogue is from the side of Peggy. She is saying, she is saying, yeah, it's due back at the library in two weeks. It means it is. So now it is will be changed to was, and for ya yeah means yes. Now remember one thing: if you are getting yes as the answer, you will say replied in affirmative. Replied in affirmative, like you are doing having a work here. But if you are getting no, for that you will use replied in negative. If your answer is yes, you will say replied in affirmative. If your answer is no, you will say replied in negative. So next we have Pinky replied in the affirmative means yeah had been changed to indirect speech and said that. What did she say? It is due back means it was due back. It was due back. At the library in two weeks. I hope it is clear. 
Simple past we have changed to past perfect. Present perfect has been changed to past perfect. And our simple present has been changed to simple past. I hope it is clear to everyone. You are having no doubt. So let's take one more dialogue in the same way. And let's see how we will change that into indirect speech. So here we have another dialogue between a woman and an assistant. So let's see how we will transform it. We have, can I have a mouse with crap please? Now here we are having question mark line means it is interrogative sentence that is beginning with a helping verb or model auxiliary. And we know that in such case we will either use if or we will use with. Here and will you be quick? I have a bus. Bus to catch it is have. We know have will be changed to had. Present perfect will be changed to here it is simple present. It will be changed to simple past. So past form of have is had. Next we have assistant. Sorry man means he is feeling sorry. We don't sell them that way. Now here don't is the means simple present. It will be changed to simple past. So let's see now. A woman rushed into a hardware store and inquired. Inquired is used for interrogated. What did she inquire? If or you can also say whether she for woman we will use she. I is used for woman. She is used for herself. I but we will use she. If she can will be changed to could. If she could have a mouse trap. Further it will be same. If she could have a mouse trap. And further ask them to be quick. So and will you be quick has been changed to ask them to be quick. As I have a bus to catch. Have will be changed to had. I will be changed to she. Because we have third person female. As she had a bus to catch. As she had a bus to catch. We are done with this. Next we have sorry ma'am. The assistant, assistant expressed his helplessness and what is he saying? Sorry ma'am. So we will say and felt sorry. Helplessness, why? Because he can't do anything in that case. So, and felt sorry. He told that we don't will be changed to didn't. And we will be changed to and that they didn't. Rest will be saying sell them that big. So, the assistant will be saying the assistant expressed his helplessness and felt sorry. He told that they didn't sell them that big. I hope it is clear. So you have to take care that if your reporting work is in the past tense, you have to change. You have to bring that particular tense into the past form. Like simple present to simple past. Simple past to past perfect. Present continuous to past continuous. Likewise, you will change other tenses as well. There will be no change in case of past perfect tense and in case of past perfect continuous tense. I hope it is clear to everyone. So that was all for today. We are done with our topic of narration. Now you have to practice more and more. So take care students. Keep learning, keep growing. That was all for today. Bye-bye. Thank you.